Hey there, Raw folks. This is Ben, and welcome back to Untold Raw Secrets, where we unravel the juiciest Raw secrets and expose the controversial truths the media doesn't want you guys to know about. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up, because today we're diving into shocking revelations surrounding Prince Harry's claims against his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, and the blatant lies exposed by Sir Edward Young's letter. Let's get ready for the roller coaster of deceit in the Sussex's carefully crafted narrative. But hold on, you know, guys know the drill. Before we get started, subscribe and hit the bell icon. It's really important for us at the channel. And we can keep bringing you Royal Family Revelations that way as well. So, now in recent developments, it seems Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have once again played the victim card. This time accusing the late Queen of neglecting their security concerns. However, hold on to your hats because the truth is far from what the Duke and Duchess of Deception want you to believe, Harry, in a court case against the Associated Newspapers Limited, claimed he felt forced to leave his UK home due to a security downgrade after stepping down as a working royal in 2020. But the plot thickens. Letters between the Queen's most senior aide and then Cabinet Secretary emerge contradicting Harry's claims. Sir Edward Young, in an extract from a letter dated January 31st, 2020, outlined the expectations of the Queen that she had regarding security. It's crucial to note that ensuring the safety of the Sussexes was labelled as of paramount importance by Her Majesty, taking into account Harry's public profile, military service and the well-documented history of targeting the Sussex family by extremists. But here's the kicker, the letter also emphasised the decisions about publicly funded security, where independent and lay with the UK government the government of Canada and any other host government, the late Queen and the royal family recognised the importance of effective security but maintained a clear understanding of the independent decision making process. Now let's dissect a little bit about the narrative. Harry and Meghan have been peddling the narrative that they were cut adrift by the royal family. Contrary to their claims, the late Queen's wishes were crystal clear and the family was committed to ensuring their safety. However, the changes in the Sussex's position, deciding not to serve in the name of the Queen, but rather support organisations in the name only, meant a shift in their eligibility. The crucial point here is that Harry has consistently received appropriate security on a case-by-case -case basis when in the UK. So what's the real motive here? Now, especially when they're not even in the UK, the answer seems to lie in the desire to overuse the system, exploit the taxpayer funds and maintain a facade of importance. Harry and Meghan don't want discreet security. They want high-level protection to bolster their image as an important head of state and first lady. It's a carefully calculated play to garner sympathy and paint themselves as helpless victims while pulling the strings behind the scenes. Now, in conclusion, the Sussex's lies about Queen Elizabeth's stance on their security have been laid bare. It's time to question the authenticity of their victim narrative and recognise the orchestrated plot to manipulate public opinion. So what's your take on this, guys? Let us know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.